There's a lot going on in Hamilton this week. Let's check in with May Hamilton Mayor Fred Eisenberger. Nice to see you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming we all enjoyed a taste of spring yesterday. And it was very nice. So we're going to go back to spring in just a moment. But first, we're, we're getting some, some winter fun out of the way. Well, not out of the way. We're looking forward to it on Sunday with the uh, NHL Heritage Classic. Yeah, it's going to be a, a great game. We're looking forward to it uh, on Sunday. Uh, it, it's going to be a full house. Uh, Toronto and Buffalo, the old rivals, playing uh, to one, in, one another. And I think it's uh, an exciting time to have it come to Hamilton. And I've, I've had the pleasure of going to see the uh, setup down there. It's quite the, uh, quite the arrangement that they make uh, to make the ice in there and get it all set up. But uh, it's going to be a great crowd, great fun. And I know everybody's looking forward to it. Right. And then because it's such a setup, they're going to keep the ice uh, at uh, Tim Hortons Field for the following night, which would be like a week from tonight because the Hamilton Bulldogs get to play on that surface as well. Yeah, the very uh, the very next day, the Bulldogs are going to be out there as well. Tickets are available for that as well. And, you know, why, why waste, uh, you know, a setup like that when you can uh, have that kind of outdoor pond pond type hockey game uh, happening once again for the Bulldogs. It'll be a great uh, opportunity for them to see the Bulldogs, but also a fundraiser for uh, a number of organizations that uh, that invariably uh, get benefit from that as well. So come on out to uh, both or one and, uh, you know, it's going to be a weekend, a, a Sunday and a Monday of, uh, you know, all hockey. Mm -hmm. And and not very far away from that at Gage Park, spring is well underway with the uh, spring tide bulb show. Yeah, and, uh, you know, give, having had a taste of spring yesterday, I'm sure everyone's interested in uh, getting more of a taste of that uh, coming up. So some from March the 11th to March the 20th, 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. at the uh, the greenhouse at uh, Gage Park, you can uh, enjoy the, uh, the Tide Bulb Show. Uh, you can enter Gage Park from the uh, Roselawn Club area and uh, free admission. All that they ask for is either a donation to a food share or bring some canned goods or, or, or uh, you know, something, something non-perishable that uh, can be donated to food share as well. But, uh, you know, at the, uh, the greenhouses, if you haven't been, uh, they're, they're great to see in any event because it is a nice, warm environment. And yes. certainly <laughs> the bulb show is going to be impressive as it is every year. It would smell so nice. Um, looking long term uh, with the warmer weather and, and use of parks in the colder weather as well, the city is, is working on its parks master plan and it needs feedback from us. Yeah, I mean, it, these are the people's parks and uh, we want to get an idea of what the long term, uh, medium term and short term needs are in, in our park infrastructure, whether it's uh, accessibility or, you know, the, 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 the ability for people to use the parks, how do they use them, uh, you know, what would they like to see in them. And so uh, we've got a survey going on. You can go to uh, engage.hamilton.ca and uh, make your comments uh, known to the Hamilton Parks Master Plan Survey. And hopefully that will help inform us in terms of uh, what the what the longer term needs are going to be in parks and parks facilities. You know what? Every community needs a good uh, green space, and certainly uh, we're uh, we're interested in providing that just about everywhere. Uh, but then, you know, what kind of amenities do we want in those park spaces? What are people going to most enjoy over the longer term? And uh, once we get your feedback, we'll hopefully incorporate a lot of that into the uh, park development. Because those needs kind of change over the years, right? I, I, I think of how many baseball diamonds we used to have. And now we don't have that many because not that many people are, are playing baseball anymore. But, but uh, the, you know, needs change, populations change, so many, so many things to think of. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we uh, we have a diff different ethnic uh, mix as well, and you know, uh, cricket's becoming more mm -hmm. popular, and there's a lot more demand for cricket pitches that uh, a lot of uh, our, our you know Eastern friends are uh, very familiar with. Uh, yes, things change over the years. Uh, we we have more accessible uh, play structure equipment, and uh, you know, the needs are demonstrated on a number of different occasions, and that that may be a greater need in some of the parks that uh, don't have those accessible play structure features for anyone with disabilities. So all of those issues uh, do change over time. And, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we address as many needs as possible when it comes to using our, our delighted green spaces. OK, we will uh, put the link up to that in our website, chch.com. Thank you for speaking with us, Mayor. Always a pleasure. And I'll talk to you soon.